All right, guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Mr. Baby, and physical Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken Goku, and Evolution Blue Vegeta is coming for the Tanabata celebration over on JP. Now, this this is really hype. I, I wanted to wait, you know, a little bit before I make this made this video um, because I wanted the, I wanted the hype to die down. I didn't want to, my hype to, you know, change your perception of what I think of this unit, if that makes sense, right? So, this unit is very, very, very good, very strong, um, but I do not think they are the best unit in the game. I do not think they are the best unit in the game. I might title it something like that, but <laughs> this is, I don't think this is the best unit in the game because th it's very situational with them. Like, they, like, the, 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 the range of power with this unit is, is pretty wide all right so let me just hop straight into you know the, the breakdown and stuff now really quick Goresh called it all out um and Talon called it force of power so I don't know which one it is but cons let, let's say let's assume that it's all out right thinking about the units that they can add in here automatically I think of um what's it called Gala Gun Vegeta and Kaioken Goku um, during the Saiyan Saga, right? Those are the two units that stand out to me the most. Those, they definitely, definitely went all out. Um, I'm pretty sure Full Power Frieza, right, would count. Um, like, like, Name it Goku. Like, I, was, I watched Truth video, and Truth said that Name it Goku may not be on there. Like, I'm talking about, like, Super Saiyan Goku, right? And, and it kind of makes sense, but, like, it kind of doesn't at the same time. Like, I, I think Super Saiyan Goku from Planet Namek will be on there. But the real question is, is how generous will Dokkan be? Because Dokkan likes to mess up these these categories really, really, really badly. Like, Truth also said um, that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan will be there. I definitely agree. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan will... I, there's no way he, he's not in there, right? We could we could see Dragon Ball Super Broly on there. Because, to me, he went all out, right? Um, I don't think v Vegeta or Gogeta will be on there. Um, they, don't, they don't really go all out. They, they like... I don't... I don't know who will be on this category. It'll be very interesting to see who's actually on this category. But the leader skill is all out or joint forces category key three at 150% to all stats, which is, in my opinion, very good. I wanted another joint forces lead, so either full power or joint forces was what I really wanted, right? They're 12 key. Uh, they greatly raise attack and defense. This is what this right here is what makes them really good, right? They do this on both their super attacks, um, but then on the 12 key they lower attack. And then on the 18 key, the lower attack and defense, which makes them something, which makes them pretty good in something like um, Super Battle Road, right? But the fact that they ra they greatly raise attack and defense on either 12 or 18 key makes them very, very, very good, right? And their passive skill, irregular cooperation, attack and defense plus 70% at the start of turn or start of battle, whatever, right? Gain an additional attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained. Now, per key sphere obtained, right? So, what what this depends on is whether you have an orb changer or not, because you cannot you cannot depend on the field of orbs like like the RNG that you're gonna get. You please do not depend on that, right? You're going to need, okay, you're going to need an orb changer. So you can bring physical Kefla, uh, maybe STR Kefla if you're on JP. I know STR Kefla. I think I'm pretty sure she changes physical. I think she changes physical orbs to STR, right? Um, and then you also have someone like this guy right here. This guy, okay, this is not who I thought I had up, but the Goten, right? The Super Saiyan Goten from the Broly movie, he changes or um, orbs into uh, key spheres into rainbow, right? And if we if we read here, gain critical hit chance plus seven percent, and key two and performs an additional attack, which I thought said super attack, up to three turn uh, three times in a turn per rainbow key sphere obtained. So if you had someone like Goten, who changes orbs into um, rainbow orbs. It would be really good, but the only thing is that they don't really link well. I, th I think the only links that they share might be Super Saiyan and Kamehameha. Kamehameha. That, that's it. I don't even think I don't even think that Goten has fierce battle. So again, what what makes this unit good or not is how much how many orbs can you generate on the turn with them, right? You need to you need to have them with an orb changer to really maximize. Um. You know their output their damage output right and if you let's say you you brought um a rainbow orb changer alongside with them that would that would basically work for both of these right it would work for the attack and defense plus seven percent and then the crit chance and then performing an additional attack so 
up to three times in a turn is very interesting um, because I don't know if this means a total of four attacks, right? It's the regular attack and then up to three additionals or if it's just up to three attacks in a turn, meaning that it goes, so it's basically only two additional attacks, if that makes sense, right? But also, and this is, this right here is, is what makes this unit pretty scary, right? Their active skill, able to be used when HP is 50% or below, which is, is very good. I think that's a very, very solid um, requirement. One key, I mean, what the heck, for one turn, key 24 and attack plus 70% and defense minus 50%. If you need any, if okay, for anyone who has LR Tech Broly, right? He gets 24 key and 48% attack. And he is absolutely dumb. 55%. I have my Broly's at 55% and I made him do an 11 mil attack stat because of that active skill. It is dumb. You have to understand that that this 70% isn't like it's actually more than this, right? But they actually lose more than 50% defense. It's just the way the way the calculations work. And this like it really depends on when you activate this because if you activate this in a turn where they're going to be they're going to be attacked a lot, they're going to get killed. If you're running in a hard event, right? They're going to be killed for sure. But I don't know, man. I don't know how to feel about this unit. This unit is very good. Very, very, very good. Definitely an easy top 10. Maybe a top 5. It's just so... They're just very situational, right? Very, very situational. Because if you get one key for a turn, they're not doing anything. Because because if you don't get any, any rainbow key, they're not, they're not getting any of this second part of their passive off. And they're getting 7% attack and defense, plus the 70% attack and defense that they're getting. Um, at the start of turn, plus whatever the leader skill is giving them, right? So they're not going to be doing anything crazy. So, on paper, they seem very good, but also a little bit underwhelming. But I'll have to see, I'll have to see how they look in game. I don't want to get like like an actual set opinion. I want to see how they, how they look in game. This this active skill ability though is the scary part because Broly, like I said, is forty eight percent, and he does he puts up the most insane numbers, right? So for this guy to be at 70% attack, almost double what Broly's is, that like that's scary. That is very, very, very scary. And like someone is going to have a full rain a full rainbow key sphere turn. And that's going to be very, very scary too, right? So because I think there's like 24 orbs on every road every, you know, every rotation, whatever. Um, so multiply that by 7%. And then if they're all rainbow. Like, like that's it's gonna be insane. They're gonna they're gonna definitely perform a critical. They're gonna get 24 key easily. You activate this. I mean, they already get 24 key from their passive skill, but I mean the active skill. But this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be insane. So they have the potential to hit the hardest, I think, in, in the game. I think they have that potential. But how often are you actually going to see that, right? So that is my problem with this unit. Um, again, we have to see them in action before we even say anything. But the links are Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha. Tournament power, fierce battle, legendary power. The only issue here is that the, the only key, their only key link, is tournament power. That's the only issue, right? And then their categories all out representatives of universe seven, universal survival saga, realm of gods, pure sands, joint forces, full power, and kamehameha. So when I did my original prediction video, I didn't, I didn't think about them being kamehameha because I didn't think Goku would actually, you know, do the kamehameha in the super attack. But I did kind of predict full power. Um, even though, I mean, I didn't predict full power because that's pretty obvious, right? Um, and then all of these are pretty similar. If you have UI Goku, it's going to be a very interesting rotation because UI Goku shares a lot of the links, right? Legendary power, fierce battle, Torum to power, which is three key, right? And I think it's, is it godly? It's godly power, right? Yeah, they have godly power. Okay. Okay. So in terms of attack, it's, they're going to be sharing quite, quite a bit. I just, man, I, 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 I want this unit to appear better for me. I don't know. All that hype of him coming around, I really wanted this unit to appear better. They might, I may be underselling them, um, but it's just, this is so situational, right? Like, if this was attack and defense plus 150%, right? I mean, that would have been too broken, though, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because my fear, you can easily just get one key on a turn. And they will not be doing they will not be doing crazy damage at all. At all. 
even if you have them rainbow, if you have them rainbow to get one key on a turn, they're like they're not doing enough, right? Again, the actor skill, I don't, I don't know. So let me know what you guys think about this unit. Um, I think they have the potential to be the best in the game, but easily don't, right? So let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.